Hey all, Matt Hepworth here, and I'm just doing a follow-up video because a lot of people were wanting to see what happens when um, everything's running on M1 native. And so I'm using only M1 native plugins, Fab Filter, um, and we can double check that those are the M1 version here. And you can see there are Apple Silicon, so that's M1 supported. And we're using exclusively that if we check the activity monitor and we sort by kind here. Intel will be at the bottom and there's no wrapper for Studio One or anything like that. There's Studio One running in the M1 version. And uh, as you can see, still got really, really spiky, heavy CPU load. Um, this is not a particularly heavy selection of plugins normally so I'm a little surprised at what I'm seeing um, this is the CPU view from activity monitor and you can see that there's not a lot happening on the CPU there so I still think something's funky on the CPU readouts Just gonna quit screen sharing in case that's a factor. Ah, we're still pegging. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little recording here, just like before. And uh, as you can see on here, exclusively M1 and really not that heavy of a session. I'm gonna close that guy and do our normal record. We'll hit the 15 bars, and then I'll punch it in and out, just like before. And what just happened? Crash. Might as well report it. So not... <laughs> Not great results here. That's actually my second crash as I was setting up the session. I also had a crash. So we're going to start normally. And run it again. M1 only. Might as well load the backup. And that's a nice feature, that auto backup. All right. Here we are, we're pegging just like before. So we get to that 15 bar mark. What's so interesting is how little correlation there is between what I'm seeing here and what we have in our actual CPU metering from Activity Monitor. Out, in, out, in, all right, so now I'm going to quit this, we're going to launch that same session in the Rosetta version, uh, we are not going to save changes, and yes, we're going to delete that data, so that was the M1 version, now we're going to launch the Rosetta version, activity monitor to make sure that we are on the right version here and there's studio one doing its thing okay we'll pull that session in Rosetta version so I'm only using fab filter and personas plugins at this point in the M1 or in Rosetta okay we're not so spiky, but we are looking pretty high uh, overall performance-wise. Interesting. The plot thickens, as they say. So exactly the same session. Kill that. And we'll do some record.
so a little different overall I don't know it looks roughly equivalent we'll just double check our latency settings on both here in a second okay we're just gonna take a quick look 16 samples let's open the m1 version one more time really quick to make sure I didn't make a mistake there quit don't save delete and m1 check activity monitor make sure nothing's funky here still see the old studio one okay it's gone now so the only Intel we have is nothing that's loaded in here we are on the Apple silicon and there it is spike away it's just kind of bizarre just look at those audio settings yeah same settings so don't know but it certainly is not the thrilling uh, victory I was hoping for with M1 only processing anyway I hope that uh, lends a, a little bit of clarity we're just not seeing the results that I personally was expecting um, probably if we change the buffer even a step or two up we'd reduce that but then we're in pinwheel of death land here <laughs> um hello so there's a difference at 32 we're not jumping around nearly as much unfortunately 32 is over two milliseconds of latency which is kind of the no man's land we're still hitting peaks but we're not constantly at peaks so it's better at 32 um, and probably usable if I had to but for what I do 16 is the only thing that really makes sense because 16 is always under two milliseconds anyway thanks again for watching Matt Hepworth see you next time